Murphy, no! Where are Ellie and Luke? Oh, and that's Murphy. We're a couple of goofballs living in northern Idaho, and we try to record our life. So if you're into outdoors, hiking, off-grid living, just want to see what it's like up here, follow along. We'd love to have you with us. Welcome back. I hope you can hear us. This vehicle's a little loud. We're trying to learn, relearn how to drive a manual transmission. <laughs> so we've got a lot on our plate today. We're driving out to a friend's house uh, a little bit of ways from us. So they've got a bunch of roofing that they said we could have for free. And we can't pass up a good deal. <laughs> so we are driving out there to pick up the roofing. They live quite a bit away from where we are. So we're actually gonna spend the night when we get out there. They've got a lovely little tiny home and campsite. And campsite. So yeah, we're going to our friend's property at Blossom Mountain Ranch. Uh, they have a really nice little like private campground. And then they also have a tiny home that they rent out. So it'll be kind of fun. We haven't been up there in a long time. But we also picked the worst day of the year to be doing this. The worst day of the year so far. It's definitely winter, or the beginnings of winter here in North Idaho. We've got, we've had a combination of snow, sleet, rain, snow, sleet, rain for about the last 48 hours, and I don't think it's slowing down anytime soon. So it's going to be a long, cold, wet day. <laughs> but we're going to get some free roofing out of it, so. And a cold night of camping. And a cold night of camping. Alright, so today we are at Blossom Mountaintop Farm. Our friends Bob and Julie own a lovely little Airbnb campsite top of a beautiful mountain. My two lovely dogs. Two lo so since we are here, we figured we'd give you guys a quick little tour. They have a private campsite that you can rent. They have a really cool little tiny home mm -hmm. that you can also rent out. So we just figured we'd show you guys really quick. Come along for the tour. Bob and Julie have created a beautiful little getaway up here in North Idaho. The adorable tiny home features electricity, running water, and creature comforts such as a microwave, fridge, and coffee maker. However, it still has a rustic feel. Check out this amazing shower made with galvanized metal. The tiny home features a lofted sleeping space with plenty of overhead room and a small living area with vintage furniture and decorations. The tiny home is often booked out months in advance, so be sure to reserve your stays early using the link in the bio. So in addition to this adorable little tiny house, they also have campsites, which is what we're staying in tonight. So Bob and Julie have been our friends for quite a few years now. Bob and Julie started this a few years ago. It's a really great place. You don't have to stay in the cabin if you want a tent camp. They've got several private spots. Um, what's really great about thinking about a private campsite versus a public is it's far quieter, um, way more privacy than if you went to a public campground. A little more secluded sometimes. You don't get those views anywhere. Nope. So this looks like a spot here, I'm assuming. This view of the garden. For the private campsites, they have several different options to choose from. One of the benefits of camping here is that you get complimentary wood and kindling bundles to start a fire with, as well as a gorgeous view of the valley. In addition to the campgrounds and tiny house, Blossom Mountaintop Farm offers privacy, relaxation, adorable bunnies to pet, an outhouse, and they even have a museum filled with local artifacts and historical items from the owner's families. If you're in the North Idaho area and a hotel just isn't your thing, we really recommend you check these guys out. Okay. All right, we're here. Blossom Mountaintop Farms. Yep. 
it's a little bit off the beaten path for us. So we're actually going to spend the night out here and then take the roofing out to the property in the morning. So we're not going to stay in the tiny home. We're actually going to camp on one of their several camping spots that they have created, which leads us to the sponsor of today's video. So for those of you that have seen our other videos, we normally truck tent with a tarp thrown over truck racks, which worked good-ish. Uh, we thought we were being clever and cheap by just using a tarp because tarps are cheap. But we didn't factor in that we would also need to buy $300 worth of racks to put the tarp over. So now essentially we've got a $300 rack and a $20 tarp set up. This little truck tent from Joy Totus was, I think it's on sale for $189, maybe less with a coupon code, which we'll hook you up with. Uh, $189, and it just fits right in the back of your truck. The tarp was great, but when it rains, it's very noisy. The wind, <laughs> you can't sleep. So we reached out to this company and they sent us this. Nice little tight package. <laughs> You're so funny. Instructions sewn into the carrying case. Nice. truck tent set up while redneck. While it was handy, easy, in a pinch, there are times we're actually having a set tent is definitely worth it. This is one of them. We're pushing it because we're basically winter camping right now. You can see the snow. It's North Idaho in November. So having an actual tent is gonna make this a little bit easier for us. So now that we have the tent totally unboxed. We're gonna set it up and we're gonna time how long it takes to set it up so you can have an idea of how fast you can set this bad boy up. Okay. While we're waiting for us to set up the truck tent, here are the gear specs. The Joy Tutus truck tent is 100% waterproof. It can fit a five and a half to six foot truck bed of any make or model. It only has three sets of poles, making it foolproof to set up. And the dimensions are about 90 inches long by 62 inches wide and 66 inches tall. As you can see here, it's actually easier to set it up on the ground and then lift up the whole thing and set it into the back of your truck. But it's a very light tent, very easy to set up with two people. While I still love our tarp and rack setup, I think this is going to be our new go-to overlanding setup for now. It's so easy to use and definitely more secure than tying down the tarp. Obviously, this is an ad, but the company that makes these has great customer service and they're really easy to work with. They even gave us a discount code to use on Amazon. A link to it will be in the video description, so please check it out for yourself if you're interested. Okay, so with the truck we're using today, there's a box in it and we didn't want to take the box out because it was kind of a lot of work. So we're having to modify how the truck tent fits in it a little bit. Not bad. No? Oh yeah, that totally works. So our box is underneath it. That's why it's kind of bulged up like that, but. Even with the box, it extends all the way out to the tailgate. And then the straps are built in, which is nice. They seem relatively strong. Remember, this isn't like a $2,000 setup. It's a $200 truck tent. Yeah, no, this looks great. I mean, this versus... Tarp. I'm going with this. Yeah. And now that we've set it up once, it'll take half the time to set it up the next time. Oh yeah, I have the screen. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, fun. There you go. It's not bad. No. So, there she is. Not bad. So you can see the box a little bit there, but we made it work. So if you have a box in the back of your truck for your tools, you don't have to take it out to use this, which is nice. I mean, it's tall. It's taller than when we use the racks. No bad view either. Oh, yes, you. I mean, the tent worked, but this just makes more sense, yeah. right? This is a little easier to set up. We look less like homeless people. Even though we're still basically homeless people. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. And this is, you know, a viable alternative. You can't afford an overlander setup. I know we can't. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a great alternative. And this was less than $200. Um, we have a special code. If you want to buy one for yourself, just a nice little option for, you know, weekend trips. If you saw how tiny the bag was, that's a big plus. Yeah, it was smaller than the tarp we towed it around. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, definitely. I guess we'll find out how uh, how she sleeps tonight. Exactly. It's supposed to get cold, so we brought a lot of blankets and we'll stay toasty. All right. So unfortunately, the fog has rolled in. This is usually a really pretty view. Um, yeah, you can literally see the entire valley. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You can see over, you know, to the Washington State line. It's really cool. Um, can't see it right now, but hopefully in the morning we can show you what it looks like. So we are just getting the tent all ready. We brought our trusty air mattress. It's never let us down before. So despite our best efforts, we are running low on time. So we're gonna camp out in our new tent, get a good night's rest and head down to the property tomorrow, morning-ish and go from there. We spent the rest of the evening enjoying the company of our friends and fell asleep safe and warm in our new tent. Unfortunately, neither of my cameras can do night footage justice. So there isn't much to show after we settled in, but don't worry. We'll do more videos with this truck tent in the future. All right, good morning. We kind of slept in, uh, tent did great. It was a little cold, but we managed. We're doing a quick little vehicle switcheroo to take the roofing down to the property with. Turns out the truck that we have right now, the hitch, we couldn't get the hitch off. <laughs> and it was the wrong size for the trailer with all the supplies on it. So Luke is swapping it right now. Um, and we're gonna head down to the property. Look at that view though. So you can see pretty much the whole valley. Um, I mean, almost over to Washington from our friend's uh, little private campground. So what I'm looking out over right now is what we call the prairie. And you can see clear up almost headed towards Sandpoint there. So really, really pretty. If you are in the area and looking for a really cute Airbnb or a private campground, definitely look these guys up on Hip Camp. I'll put the link right here or up here. I'll put the link somewhere. <laughs> so we're driving to the property and we're using a very small truck. And I'm dying laughing because of how Murphy's just sitting. Everybody's <laughs> laughing as they drive yeah, by. Yeah, cars are going by and taking pictures. He's just sitting there like... Oh. He heard us talking about him. Everybody's gonna yell at us for... Not tying up our dog. Putting our dog in the back of the truck. Oh my god. Go oh, Murphy boy. We were saying, how, how much roofing do you think is in that trailer? <laughs> enough to build four or five cabins. Yeah. I mean, at the rate we're going, if we just keep scavenging, we'll probably have enough to build our whole cabin for free. That's a plan. <laughs> but yeah, so now we have roofing, we've got some siding, beams. We're getting there bit by bit. We're scavenging for some nails here and there. <laughs> it's a lot nicer today. 
all the snow that snowed yesterday has kind of melted off. It's probably going to be very wet and muddy. In case you're wondering how this video goes, I'm going to give you a little hint. That is what the kids call foreshadowing. Down at the prop. Good. Winter's definitely coming. The building will probably have to go on hiatus. Um, and it's just going to be gathering supplies and Fun winter stuff. I don't really know what we can do out there in the winter. Yeah. So I guess this would be a good opportunity to ask, like, what do you want to see more of? If we can't really work on the cabin so much, but if there's anything you ever wanted to see more from us, now's the time to let us know. Feel free to leave a comment or email or let us know what what you kind of want to see from this channel for the next few months. We haven't been here in a little bit, um, and it's been probably rainy down here, so we're a little nervous about how this road's gonna go. So far, so good. When we bought this property, or when we were looking at properties, that was a really big thing for both of us, because we just didn't want to live on a place with a really bad road. We just didn't have the patience nor the equipment to deal with it. Um, so that was one thing we really liked about this one, is the road actually is, is very good, because it's maintained by a lot logging companies well not anymore well yeah that's the one downside so the logging companies will maintain it as long as they're working on it and the logging company is no longer actively working behind us anymore so hopefully the road is okay so far it's been pretty good so we made it up the steep part now the last question is what is our driveway going to look like and can we get turned around up there the little trailer is yeah. a little too much even. This has more clearance, so yeah. maybe. As always, the gate is still there and that, oh man, that looks really soft. It does, but too far into it now. All right, so like any good YouTubers, I get out so I can film the whole thing. With the truck somewhat up the muddy driveway, we got to work unloading the roofing materials. Because our property has a gate and this area is hard to see from the road, we felt okay just stacking the sheets at the top of the driveway. It was uneventful. Murphy even found a midday snack. Murphy! Oh, he's got an animal. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Murphy Lou! Murphy! Murphy! Oh, he's cashed it. <laughs> Murphy ran by looking very suspicious to something in his mouth. What did you find? Murphy! No, no, buddy, you can't take that back. Murphy! What's that? Give it back. Give it back. Murphy! <laughs> Give me that! Murphy, no! Needless to say, he enjoyed himself that day. Murphy, no! Murphy just ate a leg. But you have fun going to the bathroom later, stinker. Murphy! No. And he just ate one of the legs. Like slurped it up like a noodle. Oh. Two rabbit's feet out of it. Is it a good pelt? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> just throw the bag truck. Murphy! Murphy! No! Give me that. I share this story with you today because I actually think this entire thing was hilarious. Even if my tone sounds less than thrilled at the time.
A huge part of this journey has been learning how to go without as we build on a pretty tight budget and getting creative in sourcing our materials. A massive thank you to Bob and Julie from Blossom Mountaintop Farm for letting us use these sheets. As we head into the Thanksgiving holiday, we have so much to be grateful for this year. Okay, so we got all the metal stacked. That'll be awesome. And now we're ready to leave. There's just one little problem. We are stuck-ish. Not stuck yet, but very close Ish. to stuck. Let's show you what we mean by stuck-ish. So you remember when we put in this driveway, the dirt here is clay. It is clay. And now it's slime. Yes. When it gets wet, it's gross. We came up in the truck and slime sticks to tire wheels. And when that happens, truck slides and gets stuck. So what was your solution? Well, I don't know. It hasn't worked yet, so we got all the weight off. That will hopefully help. And hopefully we can get a little traction with our <laughs> whatever this is. <laughs> a disaster. Now Luke is gonna go get in the truck and try to drive forward. Yep. Let's see what happens. What happens if it slides off? Well, now we're stuck here. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna get out of the way. I can't watch. Did it work? No. There's a little homemade ramp system. Gotta get out of this slop. We owe Bob some tie downs. God, look at this shit. I know. Unfortunately, getting up the driveway was the least of our worries. The mud at the top was just as bad, if not worse. The top of the driveway still had a slight slope to it, which meant the truck was sliding down towards the drop off. So we unhitched the trailer to try and see if we could get even the vehicle out of harm's way. After it was unhitched, and with daylight starting to fade, we got a little creative. Do you remember many videos ago when we salvaged lumber from our abandoned mansion? So we found out we could place the old pieces of salvaged lumber under the wheels and keep moving it with the wheels so the truck wouldn't sink into the mud. And keep moving them, and moving them, and moving them, until we were able to back the truck out completely and onto dry ground. Yep. So we got the truck out. Trailer's still there. So we're gonna try to figure out what to do to get the trailer out. Well, mountain one, Luke and Ellie zero. We knew this day would come. We though. knew this day would come. We own a, we own five acres of clay. <laughs> but it's our clay. Just oh. fine until it gets wet, then it's just yeah. it's goo. Got the truck out, as you saw. A little bit of redneck in engineering. But it worked. Uh, trailer still up, but the trailer itself is not stuck. It's just getting a vehicle in at the right angle to pull it out. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back with an excavator mm -hmm. or something. Yep. We ended up cutting our losses, leaving the trailer, and heading back to return the truck we'd borrowed. We made sure that the next time we came out, we called in the cavalry. We were able to convince another friend to bring out an excavator to help us free the trailer and end our muddy mountainside saga once and for all. Okay, well. First of all, we want to start by saying thank you, Bob, <laughs> and also sorry, Bob. <laughs> But we got it out without any damage. That right? we filmed. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Bob. Nope, it's fine. We owe you some straps, though. Yes, we do owe you straps. <laughs> so we just wanted to wish everybody a late, happy Thanksgiving. We have a lot to be thankful for this year. Our YouTube channel. Our got health. Our health. Our actually really great people who comment on our channel mm -hmm. are nice and not mean. Like, I'm always worried. 
So we allowed, it's been a good year for us on a far less happy note. We basically can't drive up, go up our driveway anymore until it freezes. So it kind of puts a damper on any major projects, at least with involving vehicles. <laughs> We're gonna have to like park at the bottom and walk up the driveway. Or we could go back to the olden days and just park down on the road, <laughs> camp on the road like we used to. I thought you were gonna say, go back to the olden days and like do horse drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Dog sled in. Dog sled. <laughs> but yeah, so it kind of alters what we can and can't do on the property for the next few months, which we kind of knew that going into winter, we can't really build in snow. I mean, we could, but I don't want to. No. So on that note, I guess, my question to you is what do you kind of want to see in the next few months on the channel? If there's anything you want to see more of or learn more of, let us know. You can comment or send us an email, carrier pigeon, hate mail. Uh, let us know. Uh, we might have to get a little creative in the coming months. That's when we do our best work. It's, it's under pressure. It's true. We're like diamonds. Cubic zirconia. <laughs> <laughs> Fake diamonds. <laughs> Anyways, we'll figure out something. We've got tractor work to do. Oh, that's right. Shit. Yeah, we do. All right, well, happy Thanksgiving from ours to yours. And a uh, Merry Festivus <laughs> to the rest of us. <laughs> All right, let's All right. get out of here. Before something else bad happens. Yeah, I know.